Space night was so much fun, right? That may have been the greatest space night yet. Yeah, there were so many fun workshops to choose from. I had a hard time choosing which ones I wanted to do. Me too. Anyways, DSA, I'm Colby. And I'm Bella. But Colby, what exactly was everything that happened at Space Night? Well, I can't tell you that much, but I'm sure Heaven can. Well then, let's head over to Heaven for her report on Space Night. Space Night is Davenport School of the Arts annual event, free of no cost. And you guessed it, it's all about space. I'm Heaven, and I'm here to tell you all about this fun, family-friendly event. Space Night is an out-of-this-world event where families and students can do so many great activities. This year is DSA's 19th annual Space Night, and it is February 16th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. There's such a variety of workshops that students can participate in. They can spray paint the solar system, create solar system jewelry, or they can even create galaxy slime. There are two workshop times available, meaning students get to pick if they want to do just one or both workshops. And all workshops are led by both teachers and students. Don't forget the microgravity photo booth where you can take funny pictures with families and friends. Plus, there's also the pre-made decorating space cookie kits that you can buy. That's all I have for you today and I hope I see you there. I'm Heaven, reporting for Create TV. I don't like gravity. Wait, why? Cause why can't we just float around all the time instead of walking? like normal people. Well, that would be fun, but scientifically, if we were to not have gravity, we would just float off into the endless abyss of space, never to be seen again. <laughs> you know what? I actually like gravity. And with the mention of gravity, let's head on over to TV Trivia for some gravity questions. Hey DSA, I'm Gigi, and I need some help with this science question. Felipe and Marsha were studying forces and decided to do an experiment. They placed four equally sized blocks made of different materials on an elevated plastic tray. They watched each of the blocks move down the tray. Their setup is shown below. Which of the following conclusions can Felipe and Marsha make about the forces that cause the blocks to move down the tray? A. The force of friction is the same on each block. B. The force of friction causes the speed of each block to increase. C, the force of gravity causes all the blocks to move at the same speed, or D, the force of gravity is greater than the force of friction on all the blocks. The correct answer is D. Each block will have friction, but the force pulling down on it to get to the bottom of the tray will be greater. That causes the block to go down the tray. Thanks, DSA. I'm DJ from Create TV. Hey, Colby. Wait, what? Okay, well, what are you trying to say? What? I'm trying to practice for my spelling meet. That's tomorrow. Here, let me see the word. Syzygy? See, I told you, it's weird. It is also our word of the day. So let's go learn more about it with Aaliyah. Hey DSA, I'm Aaliyah, and today's word of the day is syzygy. It is a noun. This is what three celestial bodies, the sun, moon, and the earth, line up together to create a lunar or solar eclipse. An example sentence is, the moon, sun, and the earth were all in syzygy. Hey Bella, hmm? do you want to know a fun fact? Sure, lay it on me. The first moon landing happened 55 years ago. What? Yeah. How? Time? Anyways, DSA, let's head on over to This Day in History. Hey DSA, I'm Abigail with This Day in History. 1923. The burial chamber of King Tutankhamun was unsealed by British archaeologist Howard Center. 1945. American paratroopers landed on Corregidor Island in the Philippines. 1959. John McEnroe, an American tennis player, was born in West Germany. 2005. The NHL became the first North American professional sports league to cancel the entire season. 2005. The Kyoto Protocol, an international treaty aimed at reducing the emission of gases that contribute to global warming, went into effect. I am really craving some space cookies right now. Well, guess what I have in my lunchbox? Space cookies? Yeah. Yes. But at the same time, I am also craving some real food. Well, good thing we're heading to lunch and announcements. So, our TSA team just came back from their state conference. Yeah, and they brought back two trophies and are now going to the national conference. That's amazing. Now, let's go to Mr. Hall for an interview about the TSA team. 
Hello, my name is Mr. Hall. I'm the teacher for the Technology Student Association, also known as TSA. So some of the projects that we're doing this year include, uh, we're designing and building bridges and testing those, doing children's stories, developing those, writing a fresh children's story for little kids. Uh, we're also building, doing mass production projects that involve board games. And currently right now we're working on gliders and uh, CO2 dragsters. So students that join TSA uh, learn responsibility, uh, they learn all about the design process, um, and they learn accountability for their work. That's all we have for today, TSA. Have a spectacular day. And always remember, we love you! Space! <laughs>